Groundhog Day was this past Monday, and on top of conflicting forecasts on how long the winter will last, it also produced this gem. He says uh, that, uh... That was Sun Prairie, Wisconsin's Groundhog Jimmy biting the town's mayor, Jonathan Freund. But Freund should count his blessings. It was Jimmy biting his ear and not Jimmy's giant extinct cousin, Josefo Artigasia Monesi. Jay Manessi is the biggest rodent that we know to have walked the planet, and it would have weighed in at 2,000 pounds, more than an adult grizzly bear. If you couldn't tell from the picture, Jay Manessi had a powerful pair of incisors with a bite force of close to 1,400 newtons, on par with the bite force measurements of Rottweilers. The researchers used CT scans like these from lead researcher Dr. Philip Cox to model Jay Manessi's bite force. They then concluded the giant rodent probably used those incisors for more than just biting. Because the incisors could withstand a lot more pressure than the animal's muscles were able to generate, researchers theorized Jay Manessi could have used its incisors like elephants use their tusks. For elephants, their tusks are multi-purpose tools used for tasks ranging from digging and stripping bark off trees to fighting with other elephants. And like the elephant and Jay Manessi's giant rodent heir, the capybara, Jay Manessi would have been a herbivore using its molars, which could generate even greater bite force to chew roots. For his part, Dr. Cox says he's interested in seeing how Jay Manessi's cranium relates to those of its modern relatives, and whether the animal's size would have altered its skull shape, or if it just looks like a scaled-up version of extant rodents. For Newsy, I'm Sebastian Martinez.